All right, so figured out where we're going. PTO on, so it's doing something. We're dumping up here. Let's turn our tailgate locks, like so. Back her up there and tip it out. You can see there's a fair bit in there. Look, the natural boards are there. It's all extra. Let's see if I can show you how much it's, how heavy it's breathing. So I extended this pipe here because that was hard against the crankcase. I think she's getting pretty worn out. Anyway, we've got work to do. He's pumping his water hole here. You mentioned something about that they were going to fill this in. Yuck. Water in it's disgusting. What a weird dam. It's like they dug it from the sides with a 20 tonner or something. That's all they dug. Anyway, no problem. Don't I'm thinking of snooping around the property. I'm only here to drop them some dirt. They're in the right spot. So when you got your power takeoff engaged for your hoist, you don't want to be pushing too many revs. Oh. She's quite heavy. Watch out. stuck under the spare wheel. What's going on there? Oh, it's because of the angle of the hill. They hadn't engaged the last stage of the ram. Those first two stages move, uh, the top two stages move so fast, you've got to be careful. Otherwise, you'll engage it or disengage it, and it just moves like a rocket. That's better. <laughs> Back up there next time, up higher. It's my first time coming here to the guy that 
I normally get to drive my trucks on holidays. PTO disengaged. One really good thing about this little truck is it's got an amazing turning circle. But even though we got that turning circle back there, I reckon I'll back up this time. Now yeah, I know where I'm going. Now she feels like a truck again. Away we go. Don't need the window open because I got that awesome roof vent. There's another little Ford Trader in there, so. Back in these days when these existed, Ford did a lot of parallel vehicles like the Ranger and the, uh, the Ford Ranger, the Ford Econo van um, corresponded with the Mazda models. So, yeah, they kind of, I don't know if they worked together as such, but they branded the vehicles together. So now that we're empty, I don't mind using the brakes like you would more in a normal car. The rear brake light thing comes on because it doesn't detect enough load because they're LEDs. Because of its low center of gravity being such a short stumpy truck with a decent chassis, decent motor box, hydraulic, all that stuff's all down low. She doesn't have bugger or ground clearance. So it's got quite good handling, like it goes around corners really nicely. Yeah, I got on the outside to go and uh, get hold of some of the good grass. Like in high range, fourth gear, we're doing 1800 RPM ish. Cruising along through suburban 50k an hour streets. So, like, we went from the center of a town, on the, on the corner of a town where a major hospital is, straight up a hill to a, uh, to a bush block. So bit of a contrast to what the land's like here in Tasmania. You go from town to bush in three minute drive. So we're going to go and get something to eat. I thought I'd show you what it's like in the cabin taking the uh, T4000 for a drive. I quite like it. Um, it's a good little truck. First gear when we're empty. It's an old beast. I like those tall tag trailers, they're really cool. So it's by no means fast, but because it's small and it handles well, it's quite nice to drive around town. A little bit bouncy with no load obviously because the springs are made to handle so much weight. You can quite happily cruise along. Speedo is about five kilometers an hour out because of the uh, tall back tires. It reads slower than your 
actually doing. But it doesn't matter, I referenced it with the GPS, so uh, if you know, you know, you're laughing. Best thing about uh, tyre size differences with speedos is that they're, they're a linear difference, so if it's out by if it's out by a percentage, it stays out by a percentage. You can work that out. Alright. Back in the little old town of La Trobe. I'm going to go and grab something to eat because it's 12.30. I didn't have breakfast. Oh, I used the first gear. See how pointless that was? <laughs> go and have something to eat. And uh, go back to doing some digging. Look for some footage of that. I'm doing a big dig out for a big retaining wall. You'll see, uh, see footage of that on the channel. Catch up with you next time. Thanks heaps for watching. Ah, there's a Teespring merge link that will pop up in the uh, video description soon. A friend of mine's been making some merch for me. Uh, we've got stickers and phone cases and mugs and things like that at the moment. But we're about to have shirts, hoodies, you name it. Thanks for watching. Click the links. Catch you next time.